Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. Today I'm going to do two tiles. I'm going to do um, some puddle pours with my um, iridesc or interference paints. So I have the DecoArt Enchanted Shimmer and I have TLP Pinot Gris and TLP Sequence and they're interference colors. So you do it on a dark color so they show up. It's not a bloom this time. It's just a it's just a paint puddle Puddle pour tilting. So I'm just going to spread out this paint so that there's something for it to flow on. This is house paint, Sherwin Williams color to go black. It's a tricorn black, I think. You have to get it pre mixed, or not pre mixed, you have to get it mixed. Right. So all I'm going to do is mix my paints or puddle my paints down. So the first one I'll use is the Pinot Gris TLP. They're all mixed with the bloom pouring medium. So it's mostly greens and uh, violet. I think I got a little bit of gold to put in too. So try and do the same amount with each one. Okay, this one is gold. This is the um, Enchanted, it's a bit thick, add some of my varnish water. It's made by DecoArt. This is just a small tile, so I'll just do small circles. Let's try and do five of each and see how that comes out. This is the, this little piggy sequence. Whoops. This is the turquoise one. I may run out of space.
enchanted violet. And you have to uh, do these on dark colors for them to show up. See how this comes out. I'll get my skewer. Break the air bubbles first. So all you have to do is tilt. I could spin it, but I think I want to tilt it because I'll go one way and then this way. So I'm going to run my. Here. Oops, something in there. Here, that'll probably come off. Let's tilt this and see what we get. I'll go this way first. I'll go back. To the other corner. Go back to the middle. I'll go this way. This way. I'll go back again. That's very pretty. Put 
some on the side. Well, you know I like to do two, so I'm going to do another one. Okay, I'm going to put this one aside. I forgot to tape my backs again. That's okay. I'll tape it before I resin it, that's for sure. That is more important. Okay, let's put some more black down. I've got more on here than I did the last one. Do the same colors again. This time. It'll come out different, that's for sure, because no two pores are the same. This is the gold. I'll just do four of each color this time. This is the turquoise. This is a violet. You can let them touch each other and then you don't have so much. Black in between, I guess. Sequence. This little piggy sequence. It's a purpley color.
Pinot Gris. It's a greeny color. All right, let's see what we got. Give it some... Uh... Try and make some more smaller ones in this. This one had has a little more base paint on. moving easier. This one's very pretty. Get a bit of that black off, maybe. That one's very pretty. They're both pretty. So I'm gonna I'll put them beside each other so we can see. Just a little bit different squiggly lines, that's all. I don't know why this one I do like a little better. Cool, but they're both cool. There you go. I'll uh, put the dry result at the end of the video. Hope you like it and uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching. S stay tuned for the dried. Bye. Hi everybody. <clears throat> Here's my little tiles.
dried good. Look at that gold. This is my favorite one, this one. I like how I swirled it better. I think what I'm going to do next time is thin them down a little bit. This one here has got a little bit of cracking. So they need to be a bit thinner. But they're very cool. They surely dry pretty. The colors really pop. Thanks for watching and have a good day.